If you're like me, you watch Triple D. I mean, some of the foods that they have on there are just absolutely outrageous. Recently, I watched a video where this guy made this cheese meat burger. That's the best way to describe it. So I sat down and started looking at it. And what I came up with, I know you're gonna like, so I'm gonna recreate this cheese meat burger done by the Squeeze Inn in Sacramento. Let's start. We all know that a lot of cheeseburgers start with the bacon. I just have some thick cut bacon. I'm gonna take it out, throw it on the Cuisinart 360. Super simple. I've been cooking the bacon. I'm cooking it the way I want. If you don't like crispy bacon, don't make it crispy. If you like soft bacon, make it that way. That is your choice. But I cooked up all the bacon. And I'm gonna leave the grease on the Cuisinart because it's gonna just be flavor right for this. I have here two pre-made burgers. They're both 80-20, 80% beef, 20% fat. We are gonna get some shrinkage. That's natural shrinkage, not, hey man, I was in the pool kind of shrinkage. But let's just put them onto the Cuisinart. Cook them down a little bit. By the way, our heat is on medium on the Cuisinart. Now, I'm not gonna show you a lot about making the burger. You all know how to make burgers. What I'm gonna show you though is that cheese that goes onto the burger because that is just a thing of beauty. All right, for our burgers, I'm using Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. It's kind of an all-purpose shake. If you don't have Uncle Steve's, well, that's okay. Use salt, pepper, garlic, use whatever you want. I happen to like Uncle Steve's products. He's not a sponsor, but there is a link below. And I'm just gonna put it on one side of the burger. Pretty simple. While our burgers are cooking away, I think it's time to prep one of the buns. So you put what you want on it. I like mayo, throw some on there. I like some onions, but here's the deal. You don't like any of these? Don't put them on. Get some lettuce on there because, gosh darn it, you gotta be healthy. Couple pickles on there. Piece of bacon or two. Now here's the deal. If you want to put a tomato on there, put it on. Boom. Just like that. All right, since we got two burgers going, I got to prep another one of these buns for it. We're going to use this back bun for something else. All right, our burgers are looking good. It's time to put some cheese down on them. We're not just putting a little bit of cheese. We're putting a third of a pound of cheese on these things. I just have the family size sharp cheddar cheese. You notice I got some space in between those. Nice. That cheese is going to melt fast. I'm just going to put some ice around. and cap it. I'm gonna give it a minute or so, see what happens. Now is a good time to introduce our new sponsors. That's right, this is the best beer on YouTube, and you know you love them. This is Patty Joe Beer. Coming out soon, well, koozies are coming soon. Both Patrick and I are gonna have a bunch of koozies, and hey, you win some, purchase some, maybe we'll give some away. Patty Joe Beer, the best beer on YouTube. <laughs> We're sitting at about a little over a minute. Cut that in half. Start working under that cheese. Make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. Awesome. Same with this one. That is crazy. All right, let's take another look at this. Yeah, heck yeah. All right, let's see if we can move one.
that is some cheese inferno going on right there. That would go so well with your Patty Joe beer. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> if you're like me, you can feel your cholesterol level rising already. I mean, those look awesome. That's some cheesy goodness going on right there. You know, <laughs> I think it's time to give this freak of a nature burger a try. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know about you, but I love cheese, especially when it's cooked. It already tastes good, and it's dripping with juice. I mean, if it ain't messy, you ain't cooking. You want to get the hunch. Now, I'm not even sure where to start with this thing. All right here. You know what's really cool about this burger? It's like I was just saying that burnt cheese, not burnt cheese, but cooked cheese. Man, that really just comes right through this burger. I get the onion and the pickle, of course, and the burger itself, but and let's, let's not forget the bacon. But this burger shines, it does. I would highly recommend trying it yourself. Tell me how it goes. You saw how we did it. If you make it, tell me how it goes. What do you think about it? Talk to you on the next episode. Bye.